Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today we're going to be going with a ginger brown install. Super, super, super cute and perfect for the fall season and trend. It's definitely giving pumpkin spice and I set it off with this really cute top from Target. If you're interested in this, I do have a try on haul with Target coming up probably right after this video so i'll have it linked in the description box if you haven't already seen it super cute vibe and very affordable and again this whole look is a vibe i think i will pair it with like a nice pair of like cargo pants for a 90s look so yeah this install was super simple and easy to achieve we're going 24 inches and this is a closure wig so you'll definitely be able to do this install super quick and easy for beginners even for the um side part i did shift the wig just a little bit to give it a vibe and you can't even tell that it's a closure so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video be sure to check out the description box before you leave now let's jump right into it Okay, love bugs, jumping right into it. This is what the wig looks like on, straight out of the box. Here's a look at what it looks like from the back. As you guys can see, she has a beautiful wavy texture, 24 inches in length. She's a 5x5 five five closure wig, so she's going to be an easy install. And I'm going to be showing you how I make her look good as a side part. I'm going to be rocking this top from Target. I'll have it linked in the description box as well. As I mentioned, this is a closure wig, so this is how it sits typically. And I'm just going to shift it to the side and kind of make it look like a frontal because the side where it's shifted to, that part side, is going to look like a frontal. So let's go ahead and jump right into prepping the wig. I did go in and tweeze out the hairline out of fear that it may look like a Barbie doll wig, but honestly, it would not have. I just wanted it to make sure that it looked gradient because I was actually going to wear this one um, to an event. So I wanted to make sure I looked extra, extra, extra good. Because it's a closure, um, tweezing the hairline just doesn't take that long at all. I did go in with the kiss edge control to go ahead and pull my edges back. Because my hair is not the same color as this wig, you really want to make sure that none of your hairline, your sideburn, your edges still not show unless you have a dark root. So I went ahead and made sure mine were tucked away as best I could. Going for a glueless install, so I did use a hairspray opposed to a hair glue. I just applied a generous amount and now I'm just putting the lace on top. Because it's a closure wig, I kind of use the hair from the actual like tracks or wefts and kind of like pull it forward to train that hair to go forward so that it can cover and go in front of that ribbon at the end of the lace closure. Now that I have that in place, I'm going to go ahead and put my melt belt on from bdecbeauty.com and I'm going to allow the um, wig to bond down naturally and just dry while I work on the rest of the wig. I wanted to go ahead and curve out the parting a little bit. I just like the way that looks, especially when you have like a bang. And I'm going to use a wax stick paired with the electric hot comb, both from bdecbeauty.com, to go ahead and just flatten out the parting. For me, I personally feel like as flat as I can get it, I'm going to try my best because for me, I just feel like when it's kind of um, a lot of volume around the parting space, it just looks like an auntie wig on me. It never, ever, ever looks good. So I just spent a good amount of time doing that. And once I felt secure with it, I went ahead and cut off the excess lace. At this time, the um, hairline and that hairspray have completely dried. If, it, if yours is not dry completely, just use a blow dryer preferably on a cool setting to make sure it's completely dry if it's not when you cut that lace you will not get the same effect and then I did go on top and just make sure that everything was bonded down perfectly with a little bit more of that product now you guys can see I'm just training the hair on the sides of the closure to just come forward because again I want it to look like a frontal vibes and not a closure vibes and that came out perfect I'm going to add some little swoops around the closure area again again I'm just trying to make sure it looks like a frontal as much as I can and of course you guys know I love a good baby hair moment so I was trying to decide did I want baby hair all the way around and I didn't I just did swoops at the very end of this 5x5 five five closure and that worked out for me this one is a ginger brown color and I really like it for fall it gives the pumpkin spice and all of the vibes and you guys know that's just been on trend lately I definitely can't wait to wear this with a nice thick sweater and some boots by the way, I'm trying to get the Balenciaga Croc boots. What do you guys think about those? I really, really want the green, the Bottega green color. 
but then the black of course would go with more things what do you guys think of those boots so i did curl the hair and now i'm adding some concealer to the parting and then i did powder along the hairline be sure to get a color that will look good with colored wigs typically the color of the product that you use may look different on transparent lace versus hd lace this is transparent lace i did use a um powder that is a little bit darker than my skin tone and it went perfectly now i'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of a bang in the front i want to do the feather bang the fair faucet vibe so i wanted to make sure that i had a nice long feathered bang in the front and i kind of tested it out to see if i needed to go shorter and that was actually perfect so i'm using the flat iron to go ahead and add my curls in sometimes you can use a flat iron or you can use a wand curler or you can use a curling iron the choice is yours and i am curling away from the face just some simple big curls just because the hair already had enough wave and body to it but i just wanted it to make it pop a little bit more also i did put on that cute little top from um target and it looks so cute it also came in like a green zebra print vibe as well i should have got that one too i'm gonna see if i can order it online because now they only have like small and extra small and your girl's a little bit too thick for that but i'm gonna try and have it linked in the description box again curls all the way around to go ahead and just make a cute little vibe and yeah okay love bucks so we are officially done with this look and i love the way it came out so you guys know i'm no pro when it comes to the curling iron so i did use the baby list and i just felt like it didn't give it didn't serve so of course the flat iron version of the baby list came through in a clutch and i was able to come through and pretty much touch up my curls i need to turn it off um, I also did add a little bit of layer right here for the bang and that just really set it off. This side I did tuck behind my ear which you definitely have to be careful with color. Um, putting your hair behind your ear and you have sideburns and they are your natural hair color versus like the color that is um, on your wig can definitely be very tricky so just be careful to kind of pull it forward and also to really 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 snatch your um, baby or your sideburns with your edge control mine is like four or five hours old my edge control so I got to re-slick that down or you could just go over it with like um, baby hair and that definitely will cover too since this is a closure wig you can bring hair from behind like weft hair opposed to like lace hair because you don't have lace over here and kind of just bring it forward to make sure that it kind of covers and camouflages and you can curl that up or you can um just cut it short just so that it's just something there to kind of help make sure that nobody sees um what you really got going on because you guys know when it's hot or even when it's cool you're just windy it can be hot it can be raining, you can just be out and about with the family, and you just kind of forget to kind of keep yourself together. You want to make sure that your hair will stand the day and people are not seeing all of the craziness behind the scenes. So I'm just going to curl this up. You kind of use that to cover. And again, I probably will end up trimming it, but for right now, it's fine. So if I did not mention already, this one is 24 inches in length. It's a 5x5 five five transparent lace wig, and the color is ginger brown. I absolutely love it. And of course, I went to Target earlier today, and I picked out a bunch of um, items to do a try on a haul for you guys. So stay tuned for that. That might be out before this video because this video is going to have to be approved and the try on haul is not sponsored. So I probably will do that before, but this shirt will be a part of the haul. Now, as far as my take on the hair, it was an easy install. You guys know me. I am absolutely a closure wig kind of girl. I just feel like closure wigs always get the job done and they're easy maintenance. Now, because this is a closure wig and you guys can see my, my part is a little bit more deeper than would be for the closure. I did shift it just a little bit so like this side of the closure is here and it's here when it should be centered like this so I really didn't do a whole lot or make it too crazy but you can definitely shift it more and that is the trick that I like to do when it comes to wearing closure wigs with just wanting to switch up the parting and do like a side part so this was the packaging I think I showed you this already in the beginning of the video but inside um, you did just get a little bit of stuff you got your wig caps you got your 3d lashes super cute 
and then you got a wig band so this is going to be perfect for me getting in the shower or just hanging out watching tv i'm so excited for halloween movies hocus pocus is my childhood favorite favorite i used to also like watching like goosebumps and stuff like when i was a really young kid and then of course you got older you got inspired a little bit more into the horror movies but i really really love this look this is perfect for fall if you did not know you guys know me i'm a year-round girl so i would definitely still pull this off and wear this in the spring in the summer i wore this year around but if you're someone who kind of likes to follow the trends of the fall it's definitely giving gingerbread cookies pumpkin spice and everything nice so i would definitely recommend this as a look for the fall go ahead and check out the description box for a direct link to this as well as like all the details and all of that i'm ashley for tuning in for the first time go ahead and subscribe before you head out thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches